Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. In today's HitFilm tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this really awesome looking RGB split effect inside of HitFilm Express completely for free. What we're going to be doing is taking our base image or footage and separating it into its separate color channels, red, green, and blue. Then what you can do is move around these layers and scale them up and position them differently in the frame to create some really interesting and original results. Let's get on with this tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is create a new composite shot, as this is where we're going to be building up this effect. I'm just going to change the name of this composite shot to RGB tutorial, but you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave the duration at 5 seconds, but if you have footage that is longer or shorter, then feel free to change that however you want. Then I'm just going to hit OK. I'm not just going to drag this picture that I got from Pexels into my timeline, and I've left a link to this photo down in the description below. What we want to do in order to separate out our colour channels is use the effect Levels Histogram. In order to get this effect, you want to go into the Effects tab and search for Levels Histogram. I'm now just going to drag and drop the Levels Histogram effect onto my layer. As you can see, absolutely nothing will change when you first drag this onto your footage. I'm then going to go over to the view dropdown and change it to green. We're wanting to leave this being the red channel image, so we're going to be removing the green and blue colour channels from this first layer, leaving only the red. So in order to do that, you want to go down to the bottom of the levels histogram effect and decrease this slider down to zero for the green output white. And this will remove all of the green from this image. Then I'm going to go back up to the view dropdown and change it to blue. And now I'm going to remove all of the blue from this image, leaving only the red. I'm now just going to rename this layer to being red. Then I'm just going to duplicate this layer. I'm then going to rename this to being green. And I'm going to make sure I have the green layer selected, go up to the effects tab, and right click and reset the levels histogram effect. That will reset the levels histogram effect as if we just dragged it onto the footage. I'm then going to go back up to the view tab and as this is going to be the green layer, I'm going to select red and remove all of the red from this image. Then I'm going to go back and remove all of the blue from the image, just leaving the green color channel. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer again and call this blue. And this is going to be where we keep the blue color channel. So I'm going to go back up to the effects in the controls tab and right click and select reset. Then I'm going to change this to being green and remove all of the green from the image by changing the value of the green output white from one to zero. Then I'm going to go back to the view control and change this from green to red and remove all of the red from the image. And now we've got a layer for each of the different color channels, red, green, and blue. And if I just change the visibility of these different layers, you can see that we just have a layer left for each of these different color channels. What we want them to do is when they're over the top of each other to look like the base image again. So I'm going to select all of these different layers by clicking and dragging, and then I'm going to right click with the more selected and change the blend mode from normal to add. And as you can see, it looks like we've done absolutely nothing. But as you can see, when I start turning off these different layers with their visibility control, you can see that each time a different color channel gets removed. But if you want to create some of that really nice looking RGB split kind of looks, then you can select one of the layers, in this case I'm going to select the blue, and then I'm just going to grab the red viewer control handle in the viewer, and then just offset this. And as you can see as I do this, the blue channel is being separated from all of the others, leaving behind this really weird looking colour shift. You can create this effect to be fairly obvious or fairly subtle, it really depends on your personal preference. In addition to moving the layer around with the in-viewer controls, you can also use the transform controls down in the controls tab. 
Personally, I quite like the look of offsetting the red from the green and the blue as it creates this really nice cyan and red. Something else you could do instead of offsetting them is scaling them. And if you just start scaling this up, you can see that one of the channels will be getting slightly bigger while the others all stay the same size. And really, if you just play around with this, then you can get some really interesting results. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe, as that would be greatly appreciated. And if you really want to, then you can share this with people on social media and all that good stuff. If you have any requests or suggestions for future tutorials, then please feel free to tell me about them in the comments down below. And if you have any questions about anything in this tutorial, then feel free to ask, and I'll try to respond to you as quickly as I can. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.